Yes, people, I hope you're doing good. Before we get into the video, I just want to let you know that all my sample packs are available by the link in the bio. Use code YouTube20 for 20% off everything. Yes, people, I hope you're doing good. Welcome back to the channel. Um, today, I just wanted to run through a, a quick um, mixing tip to get you close to sort of the pre-master levels of minus 6 dB. Um, I think if you follow these guides from the very beginning of making your track, it's going to be a, a million times easier for you to finish the mix. Um, at the, at, like once you've done all your arrangement and you've, and you've got all your elements in and you're happy with where the track's at. Um, so essentially this is about uh, the, vo the volumes of elements and the groups within the mix. So as a guide, what you need to do is have your kicker hitting around minus 10 dB. I usually start mine at minus 10, then obviously you can have a, a play around of it once you've finished. But um, these are going to be sort of like guide levels to get you to that minus 6, 6 dB pre-master without having to do a ton of mixing at the end. So try and start off your track with your kicker hitting about minus 10 dB. And then your base... Uh, hitting about 3 d below than that so say you know minus 13 ish and then your drums need to be hitting about 0.5 db lower than your kick um so as you can see here the kick's hitting at uh, minus 9.6 the bass is hitting at minus 13 piece is peak volume and then the drums at minus 8.5 um So it's not perfect, but as you can see, we're at minus 6.5. So we're in the right ballpark of where we want our pre-master to be. So if you follow these guides throughout making your track, by the time you get to the end, you've only got a small amount of mixing downs to do because you know that your levels are in, a, in and around the right range. You know that you haven't got something that's peaking really loud that's making your drums like minus 5, minus 6, while your kick's at minus 10. But you always want to make sure that your kick is the, is the loudest part of your mix and that it's punching through nice and clear. Another thing you can do as well is when you're making your track from the beginning is have this up um, right to the top. And as you can see, it's still in the green the whole way. So you want to make sure that you're not clipping when you've got the uh, master volume set um, all the way to the top. And if as long as you're not clipping, when you bring that down, you again you're going to be at a map you're going to be in around about that minus 60 b so again still looking at, to keep your group levels at what i've just been through um but but yeah instead of um instead of having to check back in your master volume to see what um it's hitting all the time you can just go off um the fact that it's not in the red when you're um making your track if you've got uh, the master volume uh, right to the top, which I, I do believe is actually plus 6 dB. So, yeah, when you bring that down, you're going to be at around about the minus 6 dB. Um, and say I was to increase that by... So if I was hitting that and it was peaking at zero dB, I think it is pretty much. When I bring this down now, this should be peaking at now minus six dB. So yeah, it's a it's a good guy. Is you know when you're making your track, just make sure that you're hitting what would be zero dB if your uh, master volume level is on there. Um, and then when you bring it down, you'll be at that minus six range. And these are just good guides to help you um, like save you a little bit of time and make sure that when you get to the end of the track, you've not got tons of mixing to do where, you know, you might bring one level down and then you can hear something else that's popping out. And yeah, it's just a matter of 
stick to these guidelines and then you'll make your life a lot easier um, towards the end uh, when you go to the final mix. Any questions, just, um, yeah, pop me a message in the comments below and don't forget to give the video a like and, uh, and the profile a subscribe.